my channel and today I'm about to do something different and something I'll regret later on. I want to do a bit more drawing on this channel since it's my other passion and something I would like to pursue in the future. So, um, I was watching a YouTuber called Adventure where he basically drew ugly fan art and sent to like popular people and sent it into their DMs and then I saw a challenge a while back where people attempted to DM 100 celebrities and see who replies so I decided to uh, combine these two but put a little twist instead of DMing 100 um, because that's gonna be way too long I think I know Twitter has like a limit of how many people they can message I decided to DM UGE creators drawings of the UGE creation with a twist it's gonna be on the cast of Super Smash Brothers and um, I know I am a big Smash Bros fan if that hasn't been obvious maybe I haven't like sent to it as much but um and I know UGE has like a mixed reputation also but uh why not let the let them let the UGE creators appreciate how much work they put into their creations and how much and like they just work their butt off making UGE creations to make their fans and people like happy and all that so I'm not gonna DM like all UGE creators because I think that's gonna be I don't know maybe it might change later on but um what I'm gonna do is like I said draw UGE creators on Super Smash Brothers characters and then send it to DMs to see if anyone replies. If nobody replies, then that's completely fine. I understand. Probably gonna need too many DMs, or they're just too busy. But um, they're not gonna be like fancy drawings, like coloring, all that. Just doodles, simple doodles, and let's see if they can recognize that it's that UG item on the Smash Brothers character. So um, it's gonna be a complicated uh. Video, but I'm gonna do it. This is my reel, and uh, um, I know all the names are not there because I put in like um, too many names. But I didn't put like certain characters in there. Like I didn't put like the Star Fox characters and uh, Castlevania because they were just hard for me to draw. So this is characters they are based on like my ability to draw. And then I'm gonna pick a UG item from. Uh, the catalog and do all that. Not gonna show like the entire process, also, and then like send it to the MCC if they know this or something. Oh god, this is so therapeutic. I'm gonna, I'm scared to do this. So. Great, Corin. <laughs> and looking here, I think this would be good for Corin because Corin has almost like the same. Hair color as this one, so I'm gonna do it like quick and send it. No full body, just headshot. Okay, I finished and Corin looks happy, so I'm gonna set it off to B and see if she replies. Also, I'm not gonna add any text, I just want the drawing out of nowhere, so let's see who's next. Oh, Robin. Gonna do. Let's see what gender I'll do. Then, I'll... then I uh no, pick the UG and then figure out what gender. So I'm gonna do this one for Robin. So I finished my drawing of Robin with the UG creation, uh, giant angel wings. And actually, uh, while I was looking for um what UG creation I'm gonna draw onto Robin, I got a reply from V. And she said, "Oh, that's so cute." And I said, "Thank you." So thank you for the, uh, taking the time to look at my wonderful doodle. Yeah, I have nothing else to say. I'm super awkward. Now I'm gonna go send this off to Super. It's who shall go next? Yeah. King K. Rule. Okay, I kind of regret putting them on here because I can't draw animals really well, but maybe I'll do some something about him. Hmm. Or 
If I can't do anything about her, then I have to switch to a different character. I'm not. Okay, I looked at King K. Real and I kind of like had two thoughts about it, and then decided not to do him. So I'm gonna do a different character. I just looked at the image of King K. Real and saw, oh, he's a weird, weird to draw. Oh, Mewtwo. Okay. Um, I can do Mewtwo. I'm gonna do this one for Mewtwo. And I'll be back in probably another 10 minutes. Alright, I finished this really creepy drawing of Mewtwo with the horns that by Arithia. And uh, I'm gonna go send it off and let's pick the next character. Morris! Alright! Let's uh, figure out what we should do for him. I'm gonna give Morris these. Black aesthetical glasses. Yep, I know it can work for every Smash character, but above all else, Marth. He's gonna look so fabulous in those. I actually bought like a different pair of glasses from this guy, but like not this one. Like I got a different one. I'm not sure it's called. It's called. It's like um, no frame at the bottom. Alright, I finished Marth with uh, Who to Trust UG Creation on it. I know the generic glasses could go anywhere, but I don't know if he'll recognize it because these glasses can be like for any character, really. So I'm gonna go send off to the UG Creator and let's pick the next character. Now I know my Marth drawing's awful. I wish I could, I should have done a better job, but oh well, it's a doodle. Doodles are not supposed to be perfect though. I actually sent the drawing to the ship architect instead of who to trust because his DMs were closed and I understand because maybe he's just getting too many DMs and just wants to like not have any, any more DMs coming his way. So, we're gonna do the next person. And if like the same person repeats, then uh, we're not gonna go to it again. Wow, what the follow? Look, boss, I didn't even see that. Also, it happens I'm drawing a lot of Fire Emblem characters today. What is happening? Let's see what we can find about Lucina. Maybe something cute. I'm gonna give Lucina a lovely white bow. Because... Why the heck not? Yes, she is um one of the most powerful women in my opinion. She's one of my favorite characters in Fire Emblem. So, uh... Why not give her something cute? Yeah, she's all serious and all like saving her past and um all that chest. So let's give her this. I quickly put it on to see how it would be worn. And I found out um it's supposed to be worn at the back. So um I have to find my way around it. I think I have to do like I know I'm doing a three quarter shot, but I'm still gonna have Lucina's crown. So, um, maybe I'll have like traces of the bow that's very noticeable, so... You know, a lot of questions I like, keep coming up in my head, like questions like Will these UGE creators recognize Smash Brothers characters or like characters from like a video game they played? And will they also recognize the UGE item I drew? Because of course if I draw like a random cat and send it to like a dev, then it won't make sense at all. They're like, oh, why does she send this? So I feel like there needs to be context in there. So I'm drawing this, you know, a gigantic white bow on her head. And I wish I wanted to do it in the front, but like I, like I said, like I found that it goes at the back. So uh, there you go. And um, I think we're done. Kind of. I'm gonna... Here, right here, and Lucina looks pretty cute. I kind of wanted to draw Lucina for a while, and I wanted to cosplay as Lucina, but like making her costume is gonna take a while, um, because it's so detailed. Um, the cape isn't that bad. Like I made her cape um before, but I do want to cosplay Lucina. I just need so much material because as like I said, like she's a very detailed character. Like it's if you want to start cosplay, you get you can start from like the basic of the basics like tuning. Like I made a tuning cosplay and that turned out really well. Then I just need the shield and then I'm done with the tuning cosplay. Also, there was like a like a deal for like a convention I'm going to again in the summer. 
I know it's like very early to buy, but the deal ends like uh when does it end? It ends like at the end of the year. So um it was a pretty good deal and I'm super sorry to go back and cosplay as Toon Link and all that. Alright, so I'm finished. I'm gonna add a little bit of a tiny detail. There isn't she cute. <laughs> I want to draw Lucina again. She's a uh, hard character to draw sometimes, but I have a I don't draw like fire like, fire emblem characters. So I hope the next one I don't get a fire emblem a fire emblem character. But I don't mind it to be honest. Then I'm practicing also. So let's send this off to Mister, the person who created the big bow. Oh, okay, not bad. I can do Pichu. So let's do a small candy cane by Maple Stick. And I want to do the deal with the glasses uh, with his Pichu because I know Pichu is cute. And Pichu is ugly, the cutest character in Smash Bros. So let's make it cool as he. And have a candy cane so let's say, hey, it's my candy cane. Y'all can't have it. And I finished Pichu. I didn't, uh,. I actually draw the glasses because I was too lazy to <laughs> and um, I got other UTE creations to draw I don't know how many of those I'm gonna do to be honest but let's send this off to Maplesick and move on to the next one Dr. Mario hmm that's kind of a hard one to decide what UTE to give him I'm gonna do this top path for Dr. Mario by Jazzy and Jazzy is a new UGE if I'm not mistaken. She announced on her Twitter that she is uh, officially part of the UGE program. So why not uh, welcome her with me drawing the Santa top hat on Dr. Mario? I don't know what I'm doing in my life, but uh, I guess the more times I do it, the better I, the more use I'm getting to. So right now it's not that bad to send like random drawings of UGE creations on Smash Brothers characters. Okay, I have finished with a very necklace Dr. Mario. I realize Dr. Mario doesn't have a neck for some reason. I am questioning that right now. And he looks like a... One of those like toys where you uh... Tip it over and then like it wobbles back up straight. I don't know what those are called. Um, I used to have those. I don't know, but uh, this is my really weird attempt at Dr. Mario. He looks also creepy as heck. So let's send us off to Jazzy. And so I couldn't message Jazzy, so I had to cheat a little bit. I tweeted it out instead, and I don't know really <laughs> we get how to contact her. Originally, I wanted this to be like me sliding into the DMs. It's Slipping in the drawings. No, oh, that sounds so weird, but it had to be said. But, um, I did not think about tweeting it out, and I did not think twice of what happens. I couldn't get in contact with a developer. So, I had to tweet. Because that's my other option. I know some developers, like, have their messages closed, and I completely understand if it's because of, like, um, too many messages are flooding in, I don't want, don't want to be get distracted, so I'm probably gonna see that too many times. So this is just a really awful drawing of Dr. Mario. I This is my first time drawing like some from the Super Mario Bros. Because I'm not a big fan of like, drawing cartoon things, so I'll be back in a moment and we'll continue. Alright, I am back and let's move on to the next character. Joker! Hmm. This might be an interesting one. I'm gonna give Joker cat ears. Specifically black cat ears. This is the only option I have. I know this could work for all Smash Bros characters, but um, I chose specifically black cat ears. That's to that color it like in purple, I know with like Beezum I did uh, drawing, I just color like um, blue in to indicate that it's her UGE and all that, so I'm gonna color in like purple in the ears to indicate that's Tara's UGE. There's Joker, isn't he cute? Well, 
disappointed that he's just questioning why he has the as well and should really be the one having the yes from persona i don't really know if how has like twitter but my concern is if the dms are closed so um I really don't want to be the one tweeting out and all that because I, I would be really annoyed but uh, let's go attempt to send this to Dara and move on to the next yeah I called it um I can't send anything to her that's okay I guess I just I'll just leave it out like that um let's move on to the next person Dark Pit. Oh, I have a good one for him. Alright, I have finished drawing Dark Pit. I kind of want to indicate that is Dark Pit, so I'm gonna actually, uh, because I know Pit and Dark Pit look super alike, I'm gonna color in to indicate that is not Pit, but, um, Dark Pit. What's my current right there? Um, so who do I like better? I play as Pit mainly. Dark, I know Dark Pit and Pit have like different. I mean, they have the s some very same move sets, but I think Dark Pit is like stronger. I believe. Um, but I don't play Dark Pit very often, so it's kind of like a fifty-fifty for me. I like Pit's uh, KO scream, it's literally like, I never learned how to read uh, Which is a thing that he says in Kid Icarus He says, I never learned how to read, google it, it's, it's really hilarious It's very different from his uh, scream in Japan In Japanese version of Smash Bros, where he just screams and that's it I looked up what Pit sounds like in Japanese and he just sounds like a little Boy, that's all. But the English double pit sounds like he is kind of immature, but still has mature and does is pretty funny. Um, and in fact, you can activate his pal the Palatina guidance if you go on the Palatina's temple and then you press on the down taunt uh, like twice really fast. So. Alright, now I'm getting to get that Dark Pit and time to send it. Little Mac! Okay. I didn't want to explain what I was doing. First, I just got straight to the point. I'm doing an okay Boomer Bling by Reverse uh, Polaris or so. Um, and I'm doing Little Mac. I'm like one of those like hardcore fans who sends like random messages to... Um, Celebrity slash devs DMs And it is so weird because what if they see it or don't like what reaction am I gonna get? But you just have to know that um, There's all real people too. They have emotions. They um, Have like life problems and all that and like they're not perfect so um, I'm gonna send this off to uh, Reverse, I hope, and move on. I really want to do this uh hat on like a Smash Bros character, so anything could go wrong in this wheel right here. Do I get ta Palatina? Oh, she's actually she actually won't be that be that bad in this. So here it is, a drawing of a happy Palatina with the Nickel Master. I own this hat, and I'm excited to have some fun with it like try some different outfit combinations i know like i think so i found on twitter that somebody made like a outfit inside so like nico master so i'm pretty excited to know if, what existing clothes i have and all that jazz so let's send this off and you guys know what i'm gonna say next oh I actually looked at Captain Falcon's uh, like design and 
I don't know why I put him in, but I'm a little bit scared to draw him, so I'm actually gonna have to move on to someone else. Someone I'm comfortable drawing with. I regret putting Captain Falcon on there. Oh, okay. I have finished drawing the hero, and for that, I use Eurus's Christmas Sight. A little bit addition, so let's move on. Hmm. I think I have to skip out on that. I'm just like having second thoughts. Oh, wow. Next, I'm gonna speed up the process and uh, do two more spins and then call it done. Then I'll show the final drawings at the end and show you what I've done. But the two other. Okay, Luigi. And Bowser. Love it. I want to give someone like basically a baby pack. I got Pikachu, but I couldn't do Pikachu because of like the design. And then I started spinning it and uh, I got to like. I have no problem with it, but like. Basically, I'm baby on two and like. Oh no. So scared, I'm like doing it right now. It's 12.20 right now and I should get to bed soon. I actually didn't do two developers, Bethink and Sikimeki, because their DMs went open and again I completely understand so I decided to well sadly miss out on that. But I'll show you what I did. So I did uh Luigi with the earring by Builder Boy, Roy with the Heart Necklace by Lachi, also known as Blog Frog Blog on Twitter, Sheik with the Fanny Pack by Soul Flown. The one I cringed while I was working to like with basically a baby um pack by Evil Artist, which I am actually so scared about because it's so wrong to be honest have a 12 year old have this i mean if it's like a plushie that's fine to be honest so i'll take it as like a plush toy for the pack like the pack the cap by ultra i cannot pronounce it to be honest like them <laughs> bowser jr and finally rasta my pastas pink sparkly ears on Ike, and this one is actually like the cutest one. Like, Ike is seen as a serious guy, but then he has the cuteness in him, like the ears. So, uh, I sent it all to the devs. I actually got one response while I was working on those five drawings. It was the drawing of Palatina with the Nico Mason by Onigri, and she said, That's so cute. And I just wanna say thank you so much for the compliment, only Gary. Um, it is twelve twenty AM and I need to sleep so I'll uh wake up and check if see if anyone replies or something and then yeah. This is the weirdest video I've ever made in my life, but I guess I'm showing off my uh drawing skills um and by the way just to disclaimer i forgot to say this that this video is not meant for me to get attention anyway this is just um number one fun something fun i want to do and to get out of my comfort zone number two show appreciation to the ug creators who like work so hard on their creations so um um, yeah, so I'm, I'm tired and I need to sleep, so see you later.